All right, welcome back. It's it's been a, a hot minute since I've done another video. Um, once again, life is just doing life things, and I live in Portland, Oregon, so it's been really fun being trapped in my house because of wildfire smoke and uh, having a six month old and dealing with all that fun stuff. We're, we were fairly close to the well, not fairly close. That's that's kind of a lie. I live like on the edge of Multnomah and Clackamas counties, if you know this area, and the big Riverside fire was kind of rampaging through Clackamas, so it was a little, a little touch and go there, a little nerve-wracking. Obviously, we were not as close as some, because uh, it definitely was really intense for a lot of little small towns, so a lot of thoughts going out to southern Oregon towns, or not, well, southern Oregon also got hit, but also, I should say, southern uh, townships and places in Clackamas, definitely some tough times. Um, but beyond that... I have a little time now, so let's do a little fire in the lake, I guess. Let's take a look at the situation. It's been a hot minute since I have looked at the map. Um, so I found out basically, we I think last time we talked about doing the terror markers and how many you could have. You can just have one, just only one, and that's totally cool. So I'm going to get rid of these extra ones here. We don't need to have them anymore. Uh, otherwise, yes, what was going on? Let's look. It looks like the... Uh, uh, the VC was very close to victory, but it's being kind of dueling here in Kwong Tri. Uh, the NVA made an all-out push to secure a bunch of territory, and now they are out of resources, so they are hoping for a quick coup card. I do not know how soon that will show up, and I don't know how soon the other forces, the Arvin and the U.S., can help uh, fight that kind of control. It shouldn't be too difficult if they want to focus on it, but they do need to focus on it. Uh, currently, the U.S. is up here in Kwong. I said that was Kwong Tri. That's probably not Kwong Tri. Yeah, it is actually quite true. Okay. Uh, they're battling up here and trying to root out the VC presence up there. You can see they've kind of been pacifying and doing whatnot. But of course, they've now spent resources below the econ, so now they can no longer spend Arvin resources. So it's going to be very interesting. We're definitely getting to the seesaw back and forth, you know, kind of who can eke out the win. Uh, let's do other. Let's go to our very favorite 47.5. Cool. Back at it. All right. All right. So, looks like the VC and the US is up. We have here General Lansdale is the event. Unshaded, set a space outside of Saigon with US or Arvin to active support. Add a terror marker there. Patronage plus one. Well, that would be really good for the US because there's a lot of space they could do that in. Uh, not only here at Quang Tri, but like something. Also like Ken Fong here down here because they could set this to active and that would be a massive swing. That would be a four point swing off of the uh, VC and four points for the US. That could be very, very helpful. But the US does not get to go first on this event. Shaded, patronage plus three and no US assault until the coup round. Hmm, that is also quite good. That is also quite good. And the VC might want to do that, but they don't really want to hand patronage out to the uh, Arvin because Arvin is, you know, slowly eking themselves back up into it and winning. That would be really great. With no assault, that means they couldn't really root us out of here. And that would be really nice. Um, but we're also two below. I am a little worried that they're going to take this event. And so we don't want to let the U.S. take this event. If we don't take the event, I'm not terribly worried about the U.S. assault. I mean, I am worried about U.S. assault. <laughs> let me rephrase that. I am worried about the U.S. using assault tactics. But since they suffered so many casualties and have so few pieces on the board, um, I'm less worried about their ability to expand out and just assault all over the board. So the event is not as good as I want it to be. And plus, I don't want to give the Arvin plus three patronage. I just don't want to do it. Um, as the VC player. I instead want to try to see if I can continue to secure my victory condition. So I think what we're going to need to do is take an op only. Now we could, we, we are running out of resources. The NBA is out. We're down to six. So we're kind of hurting. Everybody's getting a little low on, on the gas here, right? Everybody's kind of running out of steam. Uh, I would love to do a, a tax maneuver, but I just don't think we can pull it off. And we're going to be really frugal about how we spend our resources here so what i want to do is ugh, this is already active that's good we don't have a guy there to really do anything these are already active and there's like these and the nvas here and they can do some things to like take away that if they want but they're out of resources they kind of went for it hmm. this is active and we have to deal with these 
dang cubes coming in which means they're probably going to want to sweep an assault soon and that could be very bad for us oh very tough tough times tough times i do think we're going to need to do an op only no special if we terror here we get back into victory condition right and that's kind of what we want to do we put all our oh we could put one more base down somewhere that would be good so a rally could be another option and it wouldn't get us the victory but it would put us in a better position to do things later like i could rally here i mean gorillas we have nine yeah so we get i could put like four gorillas here and that would secure us from being like swept and assaulted um out of here by those those cubes because they could do like a sweep and the U.S. could advise and then assault there. That would be very blah for us. I could try sneaking a uh, gorilla into Saigon because there's only two cubes here. So I could definitely sneak one force in and do a terror operation there. But, I, you know, and I'm not super worried about that. I'm really worried about building opposition. That's the main, that's my main, my main drive. Um, could sneak into Camera, could sneak into Kanhoa. That could be long-term payoff would be good. Oh, yeah. Hmm, 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 hmm. Could terror here, but it wouldn't really help me out much. So I think we are going to rally. I think we are going to rally. I could rally here and, like, uh, put, what, four gorillas here. That would also be really good for us. Um, although they could just sweep again and do annoying things. But with four more, that now they'd still be able to do it. So how many do they have here? Three, four, five, six. So they wouldn't be able to sweep them all, honestly, although they could advise with these cubes. That would would help hmm, 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 hmm. i do want to put a base down oh man we already got two here got two here got two here the only place that really looks good for a base is going to be here in kwang nam which we might just do because the nba is out of resources and so i think we can safely do that without them like moving a bunch of guys in and then infiltrating it away that probably is what we're gonna have to do so i think we are gonna rally so let's go ahead and rally I don't want to spend all my money, but we're going to have to spend three resources, I think. We're going to do it there. We're going to do it here. And we are going to rally here and because I am a little worried that they're going to start moving here. I would love to have done a special and subverted some of these guys away. That would have been really nice. But again, I don't want to give the U.S. that, that event. That event would be not good for us. Let's go ahead and pay three resources. Um, okay, so well, first thing we'll do is we'll take two of these guys. We'll return them to available, and we'll put in a base. Okay, that's helpful. That's helpful. It gets us a little closer. Here, we're going to put in four. So let's draw four guys out because we get to do it. Bases plus population. And we can still do it because it is currently neutral, so it's not into um, support, so we can still rally there. And we're going to also put four gorillas down there. I think that's, there we go. Draw multiple, one, two, four. Boom. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. We're in faction play. Cool. The U.S. gets to do a limited op. Now, what could they want to do? They get to do one limited op. It's either like assault or sweep. They probably do want to sweep here, but it, just to keep this off balance, they really do. They would really like to really root these guys out. They don't want to move, and they just have so few forces on the board, honestly. And if they can't use a special event, if we look at our little faction cards, right? They can't advise airlift or airstrike. That leaves train, patrol, sweep. We could train. Train is good, but actually we can't because we can't spend urban resources. So what am I saying? We can't do that. Boy, we're in a we're in a rough spot here. We're in a tight spot. We could sweep and use our sweet cobras to remove one, and that's gonna be pretty hot. So we might do that. So we have what one, two, three, four, five, six. So we will sweep and remove one. That's actually really hot. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna activate these three. So we're we can activate all. We can activate up to six, right? Check this out. We'll do that, and then guess what? We'll just remove you. Ooh, I wonder if I have to remove one that's active. That would actually make more sense. That would make a lot more sense. I don't think I can just remove a piece. I think it has to probably be active. 
Okay, fine. Then we'll remove this guy. Return to available. Okay. Cobra! Little G.I. Joe reference there. All right, cool. So, yeah, that wasn't, like, super great. I guess they could have passed and tried to go here, but that actually might have been smart to pass. But they still can't do anything. I guess that would give them three resources to the Arvin. But they they could do, like, one activity with the Arvin. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily the best. They could have done an op and special, though. Ooh, that could have been good. Hmm... Yeah, I think we'll just stick with that. Honestly, I probably should have passed. That would have probably been a great opportunity to pass, but I already made the move, so we'll just we'll do it as that. We'll do it as that. All right, so we will end the card play. Boom, look at that. That was really nice how it did that. We're going to draw. I'm finally using it correctly. Okay, see, that kind of worked out. Now we're going to get our first crack on this, and that's pretty hot. Um, although that's kind of a nasty capability. Oh, that's actually great for us, but bad if we get the shaded one. So we might have to think about that. Okay. I believe the NVA gets to go first in Arvin. So what do we got here? And the NVA is broke. So they either want to pass or take the event. And the event here for them, unshaded, degrade the trail by three boxes. Nasty. Uh, shaded, improve trail by one box. And add three times the trail value to NVA resources. Oh, we're getting bailed out. We're getting bailed out. That's huge. We're taking that event. We are definitely taking that event. Wow. NVA just getting bailed out. Here we go. So improved by one, add three times the resources. The trail was already pretty great. So we get nine resources. Woo! Damn, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Not so hot for every other faction. Very hot for the NVA. They, they went all out, and I and it kind of paid off for them. Kind of paid off a little bit. Okay. Ah, that leaves the Arvin. They can do an op and special. They, too, are, like, running out of money. They are running out of money. Um... They would probably like to... How many pieces do they have? Oh, only two police out here. Man, they, Saigon is, like, really open. They would probably like to sweep, honestly. They really would like to start knocking this down. That would be huge. They want to, like, get that out. They want to put more coin control out, and this is just too much right now for them to deal with. The U.S. did bring a bunch of pieces down here, and I do have some other like police. I have a lot of police and I have some troops scattered around so I could think about doing a transport. This only lets me move it to adjacent places though. Move it to six Arvin troops or rangers uh, from one space uh, by adjacent locks as desired then to adjacent destinations as desired. So I could like just move stuff but not very far. I don't really have like the air power that the US has to move things around. Flip all rangers underground. That could be really good because I think I have... Where are my rangers at? I have ranger here. That's pretty cool. He's active. Yeah, this one's active. I could flip them underground. That could be big. I could also move him there, couldn't I? Troops or rangers, one space, two desired, and then... Yeah, yeah. I don't really want to give this up, and I could actually just get rid of them. So I think what we'll do is we will transport and sweep. Can I sweep and transport? Yeah. I can do any. We do want to patrol eventually too because we'd really like to get Da Nang back. <laughs> it's not great that Da Nang is like hanging out there. Um, I could patrol out here and do that and bring like a couple cubes and assault that and that would reopen the route to Da Nang. That would be big. Because we've kind of opened the route up, right? So that would be actually really nice. We could patrol around and that would help me get my uh, cubes moving better. Better movement of cubes. I do want to transport because I want to flip my guys over here. And then, oh, I have two two cubes just sitting here. That could be really nice. If I can move one more thing here. Hmm. If I raid later. Yes, okay, so I could do that. That actually will work out fine. So here's what we'll do. We'll transport. How many spaces can I choose? Any. That's hot. Uh, move up to six from one space. Okay. So this is what we'll do. It seems like a maybe a bad use of this, but we're gonna move these guys over here, <laughs> and we're gonna flip them. That way, the NBA loses control there, and they don't have their victory condition. Yay us! Even though the NBA is gonna start roaring back. And then I kind of want to. That's the transport. I do kind of want to patrol. I do kind of want to sweep as well, honestly. 
There's so many of these guys here. That's nasty. If I patrol, I could start getting some of these pieces out and doing things. Move any armor cubes along, do some locks, stop any insurgents, and then each lock activate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we will do that because I would like to get some some of these guys out. So let's, let's do a patrol op. And let's take, since we have our route open now, we can let's move two of these cubes down to Saigon. Actually, I want to move it to Kanto. Oh, yeah, I can move it to Kanto. Yeah, let's move it to Kanto there. Move those two there. Then I will send two police out here. Because I think we have to have two police to assault if we want. We get a free, uh, oh, it costs three resources, by the way. Oops, let's definitely pay for that. Um, yeah, what was I looking up the assault? I think it is two on a lock. Any two Arvin cubes in city or lock, plus six, but yeah, we're not removing these, that's fine. So yeah, we'll do that, and we'll get rid of you. Return to available, okay. Maybe next turn we can start thinking about taking Da Nang back. Ugh, so many guys though in Da Nang. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that because it actually helps us do a lot of things like take that back. Oh, we get to flip all of our guys underground. I forgot. Let's flip you back uh, underground. And you were chilling, so this is good. I like having you available. You can do some nasty things for us. Okay. Okay. Wait, did I say the NBA? Oh, the NBA went first. So yeah, they did their thing. Boom. Okay, so we did that. Okay, okay. In card play, draw a card. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, buddy. Oh, man, so close again. <laughs> so close again. Oh, that is, that is brutal. Okay. Because here's the deal. The U.S. now gets to go first on this card and oh, that is just so absolutely brutal so it's a monsoon that means we cannot do um let's take a look at our thing I've, it's been a minute so i've kind of forgotten it no sweep march or pivotal event airlift and airstrike max two spaces so no sweep marching or pivotal events oh but they can assault Oh, that is just so brutal. Because I guess the and I guess the NVA or VC could have maybe done their could have done their pivotal event, which would have been huge. And that could have actually been the the game changer there. But they can't do their pivotal events. Oh, that is so so absolutely brutal. Because what the U.S. is going to do, of course, is assault here. Um, because they have a base here, that means they get to do a two for one. So they get to kill two pieces, I believe, for every one. Now they have a base. Normally it would be like they'd have, to have two cubes to get rid of one in the highlands, but I think the base changes that math. Let's see. In each space, remove one activity piece for each U.S. troop cubes. Two for one for U.S. base. And then you can see here only one for two without U.S. base. But we get from go for one for two to two for one. That's that's quite ridiculous. And then if, in one space, we can, if desired, pay to add the Arvin Assault, which we can't pay because we can't spend past our econ. Oh, that is just, that's absolutely devastating. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so I guess last turn they shouldn't. That was bad. I shouldn't have rallied here if I wanted to rally in other spaces to get a base out. Oh, that's so, ugh, that's... That hurts. I won't lie, that hurts. Probably could have done that and won the game there for the old VC. Hmm, what are you gonna do? It's just the way it goes sometimes. So what do we say here? They have three, four, five, six. They take out 12 pieces. They can take out everything. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, they can take it all out. So they will do that. Oh. No, you're not a tunnel base. Sorry. That would have been nice. Uh, uh. Luckily, man, luckily, the Arvin had the foresight to think about taking away that VC condition, because otherwise they would have been in winning position. That could have been nasty. So they did assault. What else could they do? They could do an airstrike somewhere. They could, oh, no, they can't do airstrike, or it's limited spaces. They could advise somewhere. That could be good. We need to build aid up. That would be really good. 
Oh, it has to be a trainer patrol, so we can't aid. I could airlift. I don't think I actually I can, right? Because the monsoon. Because there's a monsoon going on. Airlift and airstrike is max two spaces. So I could airstrike somewhere. Which maybe I'll airstrike. Yeah, I could definitely airstrike there and try to see if we get rid of some of these cubes because it's already active opposition. It's already active opposition. This is already active opposition. Yeah, there's a couple places I could do that. So I think we will airstrike. Let's go ahead and airstrike. So let's roll our, our fun die. Four. Okay, so we could spend two to knock the trail down, which I think is probably worth it because they just get like a ton of more resources if we don't. And let's go ahead and take out two cubes somewhere. Let's take them out of, um, uh, there's only four there. There's a bunch here. There's a base and stuff here. Yuck. All this is just super yuck. Well, I'm going to start taking them out of the highlands um, because this is the hardest place to like remove, guys. Yeah, right. Uh, man, uh, that stuff is good. Okay, we're all good at that. Okay, so that was, they're off and special. Oh, the poor VC, just not able. Wait a minute, though. No, that actually didn't work. Wait, because there was one of these guys was still active. That's right, remember? We couldn't sweep everybody, and we had to leave one, and there was one that was definitely not active. Airstrike couldn't have gotten rid of all of them, and you wouldn't want to airstrike there anyway. Oh man, I think that's, I think we just, I think the VC might have just won. I think the VC might have won. All right, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do a fun undo move. Yep. Wow. Wow. So yeah, they can't get, they can assault and get, oh no, they can't win because they got rid of the bases. Oh, bully. Okay, so let's remove these two. I don't know. So close. That was very close. That was very, very close. Uh, what's the event here they could take? Do they want to take this event? In one space, each airstrike may be a problem. So now we don't need that. And then airstrike space is removing more than one piece. Shift two levels to active opposition. Uh, I don't know if that's really worth this taking as a capability for the rest of the game. Because a lot of places are already pretty active opposition where they would bomb, I guess. I don't know. And I'm so close anyway. So I think what we will do is we'll just spend um, spend a resource and we'll tear here. It's already gotten teared. So we'll adjust it to opposition one level. And look, look how close we got. Oh, for me there, I thought they won. But then I forgot that the assault... No! They did win because the assault could never move the bases. Because there was a guy there. Wait a minute. Ah... Uh... Look at that. So to recap, I've been talking a lot. They they could sweep. There's nothing they could do, basically. I don't think there's anything they could do to stop the win. Because they can sweep. They could have swept, but that wouldn't have gotten rid of the pieces, right? They could have swept and airstriked, but they couldn't have gotten rid of all the things to... And if they airstrike, this would have gone to oppose anyway. One level. Um, because that's what airstrike does. There was one piece that was not active, so we could not remove the bases until we get rid of that active gorilla, or that gorilla, make him active and get rid of it, right? He protects the bases. So the bases stay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what happened. I think the VC just won. I think the VC just won. Because there's nothing else the U.S. could have done to get rid of a VC base anywhere. Nope. There's nothing they could have done to reduce the level of this because the econ level's too low. The, this resource is spent. I think the VC just won. I think this is the end of our, our round here. Oh man, yeah. I think that's true. So let's take a look. Because if we go down here and we do a victory check and we look at our victory things, it looks like it, yeah. A post post basis and they couldn't get rid of that they couldn't do that i'm just talking myself through it because it just seems so crazy that i just did that and then i didn't realize that they were going to win they just won so i think that's it i think that's our game of fire in the lake thought it was going to go maybe on a little more the vc managed to eke out a win uh the nba almost had it there but then the arvin moved down here wow 
I probably will stop the video here and I will double check. And if I'm wrong, then you'll see another video or I'll post a comment on the video saying I did that wrong. But I'm thinking that it looks like the VC won there. Oh man, what a game, what a game. So let's take a look at, not that we want. So this is the end map. So really the VC just did a masterful job of like coming from behind, getting kind of dealt some dirty blows by the uh, uh, NVA, taking out their base and their nest here and taking in, but really just managed to keep this, the opposition everywhere. The Arvin was a little too distracted with building patronage to really focus down on the support game. It's really not their goal anyway, but they really weren't trying to enforce that. And the U.S. just got dealt heavy blows with that uh, Easter offensive, and I think that pretty much gave the VC the win, because otherwise the U.S. would have been able to be everywhere, I think, and start taking out the VC bases. Wow, well, that was an exciting game of Fire in the Lake. Um, yeah, really love this game, really love this coin game. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I think I like this in playing a lot. I like this one a lot. Uh, there's a couple others I need to be checking out and playing. Um... But these are the ones that I kind of like spent time with a lot, and I just really enjoy it. So I hope you really enjoyed watching this. I know I made some mistakes. I hope people that have not played this one have been trying to get into it. Uh, this wasn't like expert gameplay by any means, but I hope you enjoyed that. And if it helps some people get into the game, I think that's great. Uh, thanks to Volko for designing the system. Thanks to Volko and Mark for designing this version. It, um, I love playing it. I love playing this game. It's really a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys are great.